There, there's things that grandma told you and sometimes mom and dad told you and sometimes just things you've come to your own conclusion. That's in there. Just because you got born again, it, they wasn't all gone. <laughs> you still got thoughts to deal with. You've got ideals that's in there. You've got ways that you think might be the way God would do things when it's not His way at all. So down in, down in here in your spirit where, your heart, where, you, where you receive the Word of God, there's things in there that, that if you're not careful, it's going to grow up and choke that. Right. Amen. So you've got to be careful about unbelief. You've got to be careful about doubt. Doubt is one thing. Unbelief is something else. People sometimes make a choice not to believe what God said in the light of something else. That's unbelief. Now, any Christians, ought, we as Christians ought to know not to do that. Well, I just believe this, brother. Well, uh, in the light of God's Word, why would you, why would you make that decision for? That's all that is, is unbelief. Amen. If, if Jesus, if Jesus come to your house, knocked on the door, and you, and you open the door and Jesus walks in and he says, I got something I want to tell you. And he says, when you pray, believe that you receive don't doubt in your heart, but now when you pray, believe you receive it, and you'll have it. And he says, I'll see you later. And you say, well, our church don't preach that. What kind of a statement is that? Why would you say that? Or let's put it in another way. An angel came down knocked on the door. You open the door and he steps in. He may have to bend down to get in, but anyway, he comes in. <laughs> he, he's got a stone with him, and in that stone is written, Mark 11, 23, 24, that if when you pray, don't doubt in your heart, believe that these things that you pray about is going to come to pass, you'll have them. He says, now, got to go. And you say, well, I don't believe that. You're making a decision based on circumstances, based on what people have told you to say, I don't believe what God said, I believe this. And that is nothing more than unbelief. Are you hearing? Now, doubt would say, could that be? Is that so? That's all doubt is. Doubt, doubt is not as dangerous to you as unbelief. Unbelief is going to kill you. Are you hearing? I said, are you hearing? So God's trying to sow His Word. Now, it's no, more, it's no less truth when you see it written here on the pages of God's Word about Mark 11, 23, and 24, and all over the Word. Then it is if Jesus come right here and said, this morning, said, Brother Gross, said, scooch over, said, let me take over, and I'm going to tell him what I said. Well, it would be no different if Jesus done that than it is written on the pages of this Word. It'd be no different if the angel stood at your door tonight and told you, thus saith the Lord, and told you what was in the Word. It don't make it any less, it don't make this written on these pages any less real or powerful than it would if he said it. And it doesn't make, he, just because he said it doesn't make it any more real than what's written on the pages of this Word. Are you hearing? So you're going to have to come to the conclusion that this is the Word of God. This is what he said, and I can believe it. Amen. Now, so the Word is so important, important enough and powerful enough that, that what the devil wants to do is when you hear it, while it's in seed form, he wants to come and steal it immediately out of your heart. 
And to some, it's easy for him. He just comes and gets it. He said, ah, you know that's not what your church preaches, and you know that's not the truth. And if you don't believe me, just look around. He'll do that stuff too. See, while affliction or persecution, well, see, if that was the will of God, this wouldn't be happening. Yeah. People have, people have told me, said, well, if it was the will of God, if, if it was the will of God for my daughter to, to be healed, she'd have been healed. That don't sound a bit at all like God's word to me. Does it you? Just because something happened in your life or happened to you does not make it the will of God. That doesn't take away from God's word and his will for your life. You've just missed it. 